Today we're diving into the world of Bash. Today we're going to beautify our Bash and make it look something like this, as you can see on our screen. So let's dive right into it. All right, so let's jump to our terminal here. Uh, as you can see, this is super simple, plain looking terminal. First of all, we'll set up our new fetch. New fetch is something that will give you information about your computer system and uh, the operating system that you're running, your hardware and everything. So for that, let's just jump into it. So we'll go to the NeoFetch installation on their GitHub. So let's go here. I'll provide this link in the description. You don't need to worry about it. So we'll go to the universal install. Click here. Here, as you can see, we can open this GitHub repo and just download this. And as well as we can install it. So let's go to the GitHub repo. If you scroll down, you'll see this source code. I'll just download this. And once it's downloaded, I'll extract this into a folder. Afterwards, I'll just simply go to that folder and just run this command there. So for that, let's go here and let's go to the folder where we have our NeoFetch. So NeoFetch is somewhere here. And let's clear this out and we need to run that command now. Simply paste that here and hit enter. This will install it. So now your NeoFetch is ready to go. And one more thing you need to do is you need to add the new fetch command into your bash rc file. For that, we'll open it up with nano. Nano, first of all, we'll have to go to the home directory, of course. So here we can just do something like nano dot bash rc. Go to the bottom and just add this simple command here, which is neo fetch. Now to save it, you need to use Ctrl O, hit enter and Ctrl X to exit. Once you're done with this, all you need to do is restart your terminal and you're ready to go. So once you do that, you can see that I'm running a Ubuntu and they displayed this beautiful logo here and the description of my operating system and my hardware. Next up, we need to do something about this very plain looking text here. For that, we'll be using Fancy Bash and let's jump into the installation of Fancy Bash and setting it up. First off, let's go to their GitHub. Here on the Synth Shell GitHub repo, we'll just scroll down. And as you can see, we're going to use Fancy Bash here. So let's go and set it up. For that, we'll just go down. And here, as you can see, we need to clone this repo, which is super simple. Just copy this. And I'm going to clone this into my home directory. It's up to you wherever you want it. So for me, this is. This is good enough, I guess. So let's hit enter. This is going to clone it and it's not going to take much time. Just a few seconds and you're ready to go. All right, once you're done with this, just clear this prompt so it's looking better. And now you need to just set this up. First of all, we'll change the permissions for our script. For that, we'll just need to go second line here. Just copy this and paste it into your terminal. This will change the permission for your setup.sh and afterwards let's go and move to the directory where our synth shell is. Afterwards we just need to run this script. Super simple, super easy. All you need to do is just paste that here and once you run this script it's going to ask you a few questions. Very simple. Do you like to install or uninstall synth shell? So I want to install it which is I. Then for the current user or for the system-wide install. So I will use the current user, which is you. And next up, um, since shell greeter is something like NeoFetch, but I prefer NeoFetch, that's why I will not install this. It's up to you. You can play around with it however you like. So I'm not going to install this. Of course, we're going to install this synth shell. For that, we'll use yes. And better list is something it will display the listing in a very uh, detailed manner it will let you know the user who's on this file and the permissions for this file so i guess you should you should install this but this is basically personal preferences so it's up to you for me i'll install this and uh, for alias no for history no and that's it your synth shell is installed all you need to do now is just restart your terminal and you'll see the effects. Alright, as you can see, we have this fancy looking look here. 
uh, sometimes what happens is that you won't be able to see this as I'm seeing it because of some fonts and uh, that issue can be resolved really simply you just need to go here I will provide this website's link in the description you just go to this website and download their fonts for Linux and just extract them and install them sometimes there is an issue with the fonts so even even the Syncell themselves have told you about this so if you have any problem this is the link I will paste this in the description as well so you can go and look around if you have any errors so that's it we're set up with our Syncell and as you can see if I move into a github repo what it will do it will let me know which branch I'm on so this is really cool it, it is telling me that we are on the master branch and if I ls is going to tell me this is basically the better ls which is working here which is letting me know the permissions and the usernames on which date this was created and and all all right so this is the default sin shell but you can configure it however you want for that you will just go to this config you can update it however you want and that's how you beautify your bash i hope this video was helpful till next time bye bye